Question. Of how goal shooting works. Okay? Knowing what sort of shot we can play. As you approach the ball, what are some focuses we need to, need to work on first? What are we thinking about as we approach the ball? First point, what is it? Getting into position. Getting into position. And when you say getting into position, what do you mean by getting into position? How do you want to receive the ball? Yep. Okay, That's and how do you want to receive the ball? Facing the goal. Facing the goal. Staying low, posture. Staying low, posture, but facing the goal, yeah? yeah. So facing the goal, like this? Angle. No, no, no. In an angle. Angle. Like no, this? facing the ball. No. You also got to face from where the ball where is the coming. Where the ball is coming, so from like this. Okay? Good. Okay, that's probably the number one priority. Okay? Feet position, body position, shoulders, feet, they should be together. Okay, from there, you give yourself a good opportunity of making a trap and getting the ball away as quick as you can without having to worry about these things. Okay, because these are the ones that are going to get you in trouble. If you're a bit slow or if, you're, if you make the trap here, then you have to move your feet first before you actually get the ball across. Okay? So, next thing, what else are we worried about when we're running towards the ball? Pressure. What's that, sorry? Pressure. Pressure? Thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking more about what you're going to be doing. Protect the ball. Protect the ball. So, how are you going to protect the ball? Make yourself big. Make yourself big. By low, low. Bro, yes, better base, okay? Yes. And if you have a good base, that means you are low. balanced, balanced. balanced. balanced oh, and balance. strong. Dead. Strong. strong and Dead. Dead. dangerous. Low. 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 low, okay. Low. That's the most important thing. You ca I cannot stress enough those two important issues, okay? Body, feet, lowness, okay? Can't get pushed over. Then it comes down to the shot selection, okay? Depending so, on where you are. Depending on where you are and depending on how the ball comes, okay? So when the ball comes from this side now, okay, clearly if the ball comes to my right hand side, what sort of shot can I play? Deflection. Low reverse. Say that again louder. Deflection. Deflection. I, re I lip read. Oh, okay. I lip read, I heard you say deflection as well. Yeah, say that again. Deflection. What else can we play? Trap. Reverse. Okay. Trap. Reverse. Notice how my hands were. I didn't bring them up. Yep. I kept them here. Trap. There. Sometimes a, a quick shot is just as effective as a hard shot. Okay. And, and athletes need to understand that. They don't have to always look flashy to get a goal. Just put the ball in the back of the net and get your name in the paper. In the end of the day. That's all it is. Just put it in the back of that. How many times? Can I just have a ball for a sec? How many times? The kid that goes down, go down, you drag this way and they try and put it in the roof. Why wouldn't you just do this? Stay down. Why wouldn't you just go? Because it doesn't look flashy. And that's where sometimes you've got to be really careful. Just put the ball in the goal. Okay? So this one here, we're going to do a couple of ones where the girls are going to trap, practice these types of shots. But we want to look at their body position, okay? We need to analyse how they do it. So when you have your videos, and you're using video analysis for goal shooting, you can really pick it apart, okay? Especially when they have to move towards it. From here, trap there, or is it coming hard enough to warrant a deflection? Okay? Do they have to go and meet it? Bring it back, fire into the corner. What sort of shots are they playing? Let's have a look. Okay, guys. Don't go, oh, I'm going to try and get it through there. Okay, lower it, 
and push it in. Okay, I'm going to coach you guys, but I'm also going to coach these guys at the same time, okay? Because that annoys me when it happens. Sorry. Okay, let's go again. Challenge your athletes. Ready? And go. Good. Easier or harder? Harder. Harder? Yeah. I think so. I mean, whilst it probably has the easiest shot there, what's the easiest shot? Forehand. Forehand. Forehand deflection. Okay. That's definitely the easiest shot, no question. And it comes with the pace of the pass. So if these girls sling it across, the deflection is pretty easy. But if the ball's dribbled across and it comes to you right, you really can't deflect it. You're not going to get any cow from it. So you're probably going to have to go track, turn, squeeze or, or something. Something different. Um, so you're going to have to adjust your feet. All right, so besides that, that one there, the rest are pretty difficult, especially if they come towards your body and these sweep shots or if they come to here. Okay, the other shot that we didn't really talk about, it's only because I, I really want to get people's feet right, is it where the ball comes too far and you've got to trap it there? But you actually have to trap it past, so all you have to do is that. So, in that in mind, let's do that shot. Okay, so the ball comes here, you run to here, and the ball comes to there, so I'll just pass the ball there. And you trap it past your body. See how I've already turned? So just a nice slow, slow pass again. So I'm here ready for the pass here, yeah? The ball comes to there, I trap. All I have to do is that. And I've got my feet already prepared. From this to this. Hit it. Okay? So you should be able to turn on a 20 cent piece. Okay, the 20 cent piece is pretty small here actually. So maybe a bigger piece. It's the biggest point you have. 50 cent piece. Okay? 50 cent the same size. From there, turn, trap. Okay, so let's try that one, see how they go with their footwork, you guys. Okay, off you go, girls. Pass it to their left, their left side. Off you go. Trap, shoot. Good, feet are in the right spot. Don't 
up for failure, okay? <coughs> but that's okay to set them up for failure in training, okay? Because you need them to learn. So at the moment, if you just throw a ball back to me here, they take about three or four touches before the ball gets into the circle, or before the ball gets into a good position. So from here, it should be one, two. Okay, not one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so two touches. They've got to get better at that. Soft trap, soft hands, feet, bang. Okay, and it comes down to just this again. All right, let's go, girls. Try to reduce it to two touches only, short handle grip. Two touches. One. Oh, it's got away from here. So when I explained this bit here, to stay down longer on the ball, did that make sense to you? Yeah? So do you want to have another go of it just to see if that works? I think so. An important aspect is to talk to the players and find out why. If you don't, then you're just going to go along and go to the next drill and they forget about it. And you go move on to the next part. You've got to be really thorough, especially in the areas which is going to win you the game. Okay? <laughs> Especially these areas. So, let's just have maybe 10 more shots. Okay, thinking about staying a bit lower on the ball, a little bit longer so the ball loses its spin, and then start thinking about your short handled stuff. The reason why I think you've got your long handle at the moment is because you're, it's, a, it's a shortness of the trap and the ball spins away, so you think you have to go full extension. Okay, just stay at least a little bit lower. Then you'll be a lot better at it. The, I think. the trapping is too loose. Yeah. Like that's why I think probably they cannot. Yeah, just staying a bit lower on the ball. Okay. 
Let's go, girls. A couple more. How are you going, keeper? Okay. Ben, we were, and then. Can we do Like Ben. Not Ben, we were. Let them. a bit longer. Remember, you've two touches. extreme to the other in terms of trapping it so close to your feet <coughs> that the ball stopped completely and you had to you're, you're stuck in here okay so you've got to find that balance between how much can I do there and in front so then I can just do this one and the ball stops dead okay because there's still a little bit too much of this stuff okay girls all the girls when I when I talk to you about goal shooting and when you're hitting at the goal I want this rounded swing I don't want this up and down swing. Okay, the rounded swing is going to get you more connection of the stick. All right? So, we've gone to the left, we've gone to the right. Now we go to the middle. From here. The ball comes in there. From there, they're going to pass it on, hopefully, pass it on to the crazy catch for a trap, and then they're going to see what they can do. Okay? Let's just analyse them first and see what happens. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to be behind the crazy catch here because I need players here, this side. We'll start this side first. If you actually, if you guys want to come on this side, all the coaches on this side. I have video. I mean, I was just going, yes, yeah. But if they have it, then at least I knew I was in the right spot to hit it. Okay? So, it's a trap here first. There. Don't have to move my feet. It's straight to there. As I've passed it, as I've passed it into the there, you watch my feet. There. All right? Let's see how we go. <laughs> Okay. Just stop for a second. That's unfortunate, girls. I'm really sorry. But we have to do it for these guys. Okay? She made the pass. She waited for him going, did it hit it? Did I hit it? Yes, I hit it. Okay, cool, it's coming back, it's coming back. Oh crap, I've got to move my feet. Okay? As I say when people are doing eliminations with, with their little jink over somebody's stick, always expect that it's gonna happen even if you don't get it right. Because there, there, okay? There, depending on where it goes, this is the insane side, so it can go anywhere. There, trap. Okay, really good. Once you stay engaged, once you start the drill, you stay engaged in the drill by staying low on the ball. Watch the ball come in. Just a nice little cracking exercise, this one. Okay, let's just go through, do a few more. I'm not gonna stop you. Next, next, you miss your shot. Go.
Insane side. Insane side. Two touches. After the after the push, two touches. At least two touches, not none. Okay, out of there. I think they're too afraid to make a mistake and they're not confidently lifting up the ball. Yeah. They're so afraid of making a mistake. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, given the circumstances, normally their coaches are nervous. Right. Normally their coaches over there. Okay, but we've got, you know, mm -hmm. 16 coaches standing right in front of them. So they're nervous. I, I understand that you guys are nervous. I understand that totally. Okay? But just go through the process. What I would say to them is go through the process. Get the trap right from the first. Get the, the flick right, okay? Once you get the flick right and you know that you've got it in the air and you should know that straight off the stick, then you should be able to start preparing your feet, okay? As soon as that ball leaves your stick, you start preparing your feet, okay? This is a full work exercise as anything else, as much as anything else with your trapping ability of your two touches, okay? Let's go again. Okay, just on there. This is where I put in one of my training rules. If I see someone with a long handle inside the 10 yards again, you got 10 push ups. Long grip, 10 push ups. <laughs> I can't see the next person. Long handle, you <laughs> ten push ups, that was long handle, that's ten push ups too. <laughs> what is your hand? We're going to be long handed. Rebound board because they can't, they just don't understand how to get off there. Okay, that's a simple thing, you can see it. Okay? Let's have another person standing right here. One person standing here. So you get the ball, you pass it to me, I pass it back. Then you shoot. Okay? You're the me. Ready? And go. Ten push-ups. Off you go, next.
just like that. So I'm just, I'm just trying to create a bit of intensity here. Okay, because it's not really that much intensity. As soon as they feel someone in here, they start thinking, well, well I've got to get ready for this. Okay, so it's just a slight little bit of contact. Off you go. Everyone had a go yet? Everyone had a go? No? Everyone had a go? Okay. 95% of the traps. Girls came across, they passed. They passed it here and they did this one. The ball was coming there and they went. Okay. First of all, as a start off point, you're too upright, okay? Second thing is, I'd prefer you miss 95% of these traps, or a thousand of these traps, like this, okay? Then trap it here. Why? Okay? Anyone? Positioning to shoot. Positioning to shoot, okay? Positioning to shoot, okay? Pass to here. I don't want to trap it here and then tap, 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 tap. I want to be able to go trap, bang. Speed of the shot, okay? So I'll focus for you guys in the circle as well. It's not just your crazy cat, but your reverse it trap. <coughs> yeah? Any comments from you guys? Before you receive the ball, you got to know where the defenders is. 
see at the moment, the whole session, what you girls are doing, you are just watching the ball. You are just watching the ball. Not even single of you are doing the free scanning. In the actual situation, they're going to have a defender at the back. Uh, uh, can I have the one ball there? Uh, let's say Tristan is the defender here now. He was saying for this receiving, right? What if the ball comes this side of the stick? What the girls are doing is this. What? Stopping the ball dead here. What you could have done is just such a simple thing from here. You see the defender here? Yeah. The meet here. It's not like oh. You get what I mean? You do not stop dead in the circle. You've got to prepare for your shots. Okay, so it's moving the ball in the correct line of where you need it to go. Any other comments from the coaches? Sorry? Step towards the ball? Just, just one step. Yeah. I think I think I think that's you're gonna to have to do that regardless of a step forward to go and meet it, because if you don't, the other defender will. Okay? If you don't take that space, the defender will. Anything else? Good to, good to, good thinking, good to improve Because they, 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 they have made that plan. Sometimes the ball doesn't come to where they want it. Yeah, so they no, I can tell you the ball never comes where you want it to. You have to move your body into the right position so you do get it in the spot. I mean, I've always, always say in the, in the circle to every player, no matter where you're standing in the circle, the ball can get to. So you just got to be down and ready for it, and expect that the ball is going to trap. Expect to be trapped every time. And are we also training towards what he says? Meaning, as a trainer, sometimes you say, "Okay, give the ball to the forward because we need to train that forward. Give the ball to the back end because we need to train that back end." But sometimes you're focusing too much on the correct pass instead of the correct movement. In function of the ball, as Christian said, can get anywhere. So don't put too much efforts or focus on the exact pass. Where the pass is coming, <coughs> but the possibility, the talent, the positioning that creates the possibility to accept any kind of ball from that angle, that angle, or that angle. That's important. It's not only technical, it's also mentally. Because how much how many times in a game do we see a guy who missed the ball from a passing point of view, just passing, okay, and he missed the ball and he said, hey, here. Yeah. You know, that does not exist anymore now in hockey, yeah? First of all, because you don't have time to do this, because, well, you have to do your tackle, right? All right? So you mean your repositioning? And also because it's reality. And certainly also with the 3D skills, 3D, which we would, should say now, more normal. <coughs> it means that you are lifting your ball while you are running, and that passing is lesser accurate than when it was flat on the pitch. Makes sense as well. So, coming down to what Tristan says, it's all about giving the possibility of training with the balls from different angles. Creates mentally, more focus, more concentration, more energy, more acceptance. Look, I think you're going to get the best out of your athletes when you're in this area here. <laughs> they love being in this area here no matter what. So you might as well make the most of it. Because in the end of the day, this is where you score the goals from. This is where you win the game from. Okay? Body position, feet position, ball position, shot selection. Okay? You almost want to come up with a bit of a shooting repertoire of what players can do. Not one or two shots, get expertise in three or four shots, okay? And get them practicing those three or four shots on either side of the body, okay? Because it is so, so regular these days, okay? The other message I would say is take the keeper's hands out of the game, okay? I held a training session with a, a couple of the elite guys in Australia, and I just said, guys, today, all I want you to do is hit low. Don't hit high at all. Just let's piss the keeper off. 
and the keeper was ropeable by the time he finished. He goes, I didn't get any shots up high, I said so. We want to score goals. It's not my fault. You spend more time up high, it's great. We can just keep shooting low. Okay. Yeah, that's a very old fashioned way of looking at it. Okay, I agree. I, but I am old fashioned sometimes. And I think hockey's a simple game. We created difficult things for ourselves sometimes. And we should just go back to our basic sort of steps sometimes. Okay, and that's my philosophy. Agree, disagree. Doesn't worry me in the slightest. Okay? Come up with your own way of getting that message across to the kids. And to your athletes, should I say. Because this is the fun area. It's, it's pretty easy to, to get success out of here. Okay? Was well, there anything else you wanted me to cover? Guys, I want to say okay, questions. <coughs> I would shoot, I would have the, I would have the ball here, yeah. not there, because the defender will get in nice and close to you. Defender will get in nice and close to you. Even with, regardless of whether you got that there, or you got it here, defender will get in here, because he knows he's not going to get hit by the stick. Okay? That's why I'm saying you have to shoot it from there, because there's no way I can get that. Yeah? So this bit's right, this bit's right, but there. So a squeeze shot, is more effective than bringing it all the way around. One, the squeeze creates um, unpredictability in terms of the heights of the shot, okay? But also, you're giving yourself a yard on the defender who's marking you, okay? So if you travel here and push it there, he's here. Yeah, there's no way. He's not gonna get in there. He just won't do it. He'll get into here though, but not to here, yeah? Any other questions you guys have for me? No? Okay, well, best of luck for the rest of the course. Guys, um, thank you very much. <coughs>